Hello everyone, and in this video, we're going to be discussing the newest update in Claude, Claude Style, which will be extremely useful in replicating your own writing style and writing output, and can be helpful in streamlining some of your most important writing tasks. So what you need to do is you will see here a tab that says choose style, and this is available for both the free and paid users. So you can access this immediately. And what you're going to be doing is clicking on that, and you'll find that there's a number of options for how you want Claude to write. So you can either choose the normal normal default Claude writing style, or you can go for concise, shorter responses, explanatory, more educational responses. You can go for a more formal, clear and well-structured response, or you can create and edit your own style. And this is the area where I think you're going to find most useful where you can have it replicate your own writing style. So we're going to click on that. And what you'll be able to do is then create a custom style. You've got two options. You can add your own writing example, or you can describe the style instead. So if you want to describe the style, you can basically write the style that you want it to write in, which is, I want to teach complex topics step by step with a focus on building understanding. So here you're defining the style objective, or you can tailor it to a specific audience, for example, telling it who you want it to write for. You can use a specific voice and tone, describe generally, and so on. Okay, but what I want to focus on is really adding my writing example, because this is where it will be able to analyze your actual writing style and then produce something similar. So what we're going to be doing here is clicking clicking on add writing example and you've got two options you can upload your document from your device or you can paste your text content and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take text from a document where I've actually written a literature review so I'm just going to take part of it from here and what I'll do is I'm going to go back to this box and I'm going to paste in my text and then I'm just going to click on create style and now what you'll see is that it's now analyzing my writing. And once it's done analyzing my writing, it will just give me a summary of the style that it feels the writing is about. It says here, um, develop scholarly analytical research discourse through systematic conceptual exploration. And it's actually given my uh, style a name. So it's called the academic synthesizer. I can change this if I don't like it. I call it something else. I think it's actually a good name. So I'm going to leave that. And then once I'm happy with that, what I can do is I can then start to use Use that style. So now I've got my academic synthesizer tone, and now I can add a prompt that will use that style of writing in producing the response. So I'm just going to write here, write two paragraphs about the impact of AI on employment. So if we look over the response that it's come back with, the integration of artificial intelligence into the contemporary workforce has precipitated profound transformations in labor market dynamics, challenging traditional paradigms of employment and occupational stability. And if we look here, research suggests that routine intensive and predictable tasks face the highest risk of automation, with studies indicating potential displacement rates ranging from 9% to 47% across developed economies, though the precise magnitude remains subject to scholarly debate. I can say this, it's done a really good job. Do I think it sounds exactly like my writing? I think it sounds relatively similar. It's using long sentences. I do tend to start some of my sentences with research suggests. So that is something that is extracted from that. And then it ends with um, a critical statement. So I think it's done a good job with replicating this writing style. And what I want to see is whether the fact that it's able to adopt a similar writing style will be able to make it bypass AI detectors. So let's see what it does. So I'm going to copy the output and I'm going to go to an AI detector, which is zero GPT. And I'm going to paste in the text that I've just produced from Claude. And I'm going to select detect text can see that it picked up that it's still 62% AI written. So maybe the first part, it's done a good job in making it sound similar to my writing. However, it's not been able to replicate it enough that the detector feels that it's actually written by a human. Be careful, just because it's using the same style or same tone that you're writing, you always have to go back and make sure that the writing is paraphrased. So it's a good way to help you structuring your sentences 
is, but still will not replace the fact that you have to be writing the text yourself. But what you can do is you can actually use it to streamline some of your other writing tasks. And I'm going to show you uh, another example of how we can get it to write in our own style. So now I'm going to get it to write in my own style using the kind of descriptions that I write for my YouTube video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the last video that I've posted and I'm going to copy this short description to my video and I'm going to go back to Claude. And this time again, I'm going to choose create and edit style and create my custom style. So I'm going to add my own writing example and I'm going to paste my text content and I'm going to paste here the description that I've just taken from my YouTube video. And I'm going to again click on create style. So you'll see that it's analyzing the writing style of this description, comes back with a style summary, deliver engaging and informative content with enthusiastic text storytelling, and it's called it text storyteller. Now, I want it to be a bit more obvious for me. So I'm just gonna change the title here to YouTube descriptions. I'm gonna select that. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna use that style. So now I've got the YouTube description style selected. So I'm just gonna write a prompt here that says, Write very concise video description on Claude's new writing feature, Claude Styles. Okay, so you can see it's come back with a description for my video and it says, in this video, look at Claude's game-changing new styles feature that transforms how AI assistants communicate. Get ready to discover how Claude can now seamlessly switch between different personas from casual tech explainer to professional analyst while maintaining its legendary accuracy and helpfulness. So few mistakes here obviously i haven't given a lot of context about what this claude styles is so it's obviously just made up some of the information but if you look closely you'll see that it's copied some of the things that i usually say in my description which is in this video we'll look at for example and then also i'll show you how to unlock this powerful new feature and it's also given me the hashtags at the bottom so it definitely still needs a bit of work in order for it to really absorb the kind of style that you're looking for um it's not just the case of uploading your text and then having it immediately copy the style that you want. I think you need to tweak it a bit. But I think it has a lot of potential in terms of getting it to understand your style, to copy your style, and to help you produce the kind of output that will really maximize your productivity across a number of tasks. So have a go and do let me know what your experience is with it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.